To say Mark and Shirley Letcher have devoted most of their lives to racing is a definite understatement. Both have been and continue to be involved in the sport for seven decades. Mark and Shirley, both Syracuse natives, met at Lafayette Raceway Park, where Mark had started his racing career on the dirt in 1954. They eventually married in 1957 and began their racing journey together. In 1964, Mark began his supermodified career, joining up with Herm Graf in the number 15. Those early supermodified years created a memorable moment for Letcher while competing at Pocono's three-quarter mile in 1969. Unfortunately, that race did not go well for Mark, who became known for his 17 revolution flip. Moving to the 70s, Letcher then took a ride in the Dick Rayner 29, which landed Mark some top 10 finishes in the Oswego point standings and a career best third place finish in a main event. Letcher would eventually move on from the Rayner 29 and began 1973 in the Hagen number 58. It was in these years that Jim Champagne and several others would begin the formation of ISMA and Jim asked Shirley to help out. This would become her racing legacy. Shirley pretty much did it all. She handled memberships, secretarial duties, was the handicapper and scorer, wrote press releases, and was the editor of the ISMA yearbook, which first came out in 1983. She also wrote a column for the Gator Racing News and later in the Oswego Speedway Eagle. Shirley has kept every race program from Oswego Speedway and various ISMA tracks. Letcher spent several seasons driving for Jim and Danny Sewell up until around the 1988 season when Danny would become the lead driver. Not long after Mark hung up the helmet, he and Shirley's son Jamie began his racing career at Oswego Speedway. Mark had come close to winning an Oswego feature on several occasions during his career, twice when Kenny Andrews stole Mark's chance on the last lap of a race. Mark's son Jamie would eventually get that elusive feature win for the Letcher family on August 19th of 2000. Mark helped Jamie out with his career as long as it continued until Jamie married and moved to the Boston area. But Mark returned to Oswego to help out Dan and Danny Connors and their super modified effort because he says young Dan reminded him of Jamie and how he started. Shirley, after leaving Isma in 1997, would remain active assisting the Eagles fan club and with the old timers reunion. Today, Mark and Shirley have 12 grandchildren and nine great grandchildren, with the 10th due in January. And through all the years, who of course could forget the famous classic centerfold of Mark with only a checkered flag and a glass of wine. Mark says, George Caruso Jr. paid me for that photo, and I think it's the only money I ever made in racing. And Mark pretty much summed up his career in typical Mark Letcher fashion. I was just the dumbass that drove those cars who no one else wanted to drive, and I pushed them farther than they wanted to go. But I enjoyed it all. Congratulations to 2015 Oswego Speedway, Mitchell Speedway Press Hall of Fame inductees, Mark and Shirley Letcher.